Good mid-afternoon on this beautiful, nice, uh, partly sunny with scattered high cumulus nimbus clouds up in the sky as we've had scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day, mostly early this morning. But uh, the sun is starting to increasingly peak out as we get into the max intensity and the peak heating of the afternoon to, on this late June. Actually, I think last day of June, uh, midsummer day in the greater uh, Shelby Township metropolitan area in the great state of Michigan, right? As we traverse through Macomb County, huh? Um, it's got a lot of questions asking me about coins this, fucking coins that. That's all you guys ever talk about are these fucking coins. But I've been asked and say, hey, look, we're having a little bounce. I thought, yeah, we're about a percent and a half off our lows, I think. I want to say we were down about 1,200. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? We were down the 34000 uh, about $600 off our low. We're getting lots and lots of questions. I like that feature. That's pretty cool. We can just kind of overview this why we, without actually clicking into there. It's pretty nice. We can see Bitcoin in the monthly the three month it's been very bearish as our indicators again as a reminder if you want to get on vincenzo's um bullish bearish indicators uh, short and long term indicators our first email is going to go out uh friday or saturday probably saturday because i want to let the conventional markets close and have the futures market close um and then put it out and then we'll have the week on to put some more data in with the thin trading and see if anything changes and then put out our weekly update monday and then our weekly update friday right monday and friday and then we'll email you out saturday right so you can get the email at the end of each week fucking rocks hitting my window jesus christ fuck got a big old ship last year but remember to email me at quagmireallright at yahoo.com if you want to be part of the beta testing. The beta testing is going to take time. We're going to tweak it, modify it, and fine tune it, and make it spectacularly easy and simple to use as a very powerful tool to be in your tool belt, right? Um, but yeah, go, I think I got 12 people already that are pre registered. So if you want to be part of this beta test, um, shoot me your email or shoot me an email and say uh, hashtag Vincenzo's beta test or beta test or something to do with beta uh, Vincenzo's indicator so I know why you're emailing me and then I'm adding you on a running uh, matrix and I will start shooting out our first week because then it'll be good if I do it Saturday we'll have um, 28, 29, 30 and then Friday. So we'll have four days on there so you can kind of get a little bit of a feel uh, to see how it's going, you know, to see how it works, to see how you can see uh, the different indicators and different time frames flipping from bullish to bearish, right? So you can kind of see a trend forming. Are we flipping the bullish from a long-term bearish cycle? Once you've got three months of data to flip back through, you can see how they've been flipping uh, short range indicators from bearish to bullish, bullish to bearish, or whatever, right? You can see the trend as we look at Zill. It's had a very rough three months. And uh, we'll keep adding coins to our indicator, but right now I just got the Bitcoins up there Bitcoin, XRP, Doge, Litecoin, XLM, CELO, Quant, Quanta, and Ethereum, and Zill, and Cardano, right? I got those Cardanos on there because it and Zill and Quanta, because you guys seem to like to look at those, so I figured I'd throw them fuckers on there. And they've had a lot of movement recently, so you can see the indicators flipping signs, right? So you can start to follow it. They're very powerful. I think you guys are really gonna like it. And I think they're gonna really help you uh, to give you more education and uh, information on the stocks that you're trying to, as it seems to be more of day trading in this group than long-term hodlers based on what I'm seeing 
based on your comments because you guys are very concerned with the day-to-day fucking price, right? If you weren't so concerned about the day-to-day price and you were more concerned about the monthly patterns, right, and the weekly patterns, then I would know you're a long-term hodler and you're looking for times to buy, right? But be that as it may, I love y'all, day traders, hodlers, and whatnot. But ADA, real quick, then we click that little fancy button here. I'm going to pick up new glasses right now, some new Oakleys. My old lenses were four and a half years old. I've gotten quite speed up going through the plant with the mine. I'll scratch the fuck shit. So now I will use these old Oakleys as my plant glasses and my new Oakleys as my everyday wearing glasses. Wow. Is this dude trying to get fucking killed? But you can see in this bitch, as I digress, I think we're going to try to hit this upper resistance in this pattern, and then we're going to get rejected. Which we're, that's what we've been doing for a few days. You can see if we isolate in a little bit closer. Oh, that's right. Vincenzo wants to isolate in closer in the four-hour time frame. You can see with our industry exclusive and YouTube made famous perching tool. Ah, get the fuck out of there. We're going to perch from just above the 200-day moving average. You can see we hit this once, twice, which is just overhead resistance after we broke down. So that makes sense that we retest. And if we get rejected... We're going to come way down now. And if you notice way down now, that's stupid. It doesn't let me pull the pointer tool in there. You can see that we're trying to flip back bullish in the four-hour time frame after we flip bullish uh, in EDA. And if we look at the weekly, we're still bullish in the weekly, but we're crashing. So that lets us know that we're actually bearish, even though the indicator hasn't flipped bearish yet. You're bearish. Right in the weekly time frame. If we go to the daily time frame, we're already deep in the bearish territory, trying to touch neutral. We're probably going to touch neutral today or tomorrow, and then we're going to start to sink again. You're going to see some red candles come back in down now. Um, and ADA, that's what I would watch out for. 